Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I want to show you how to plan your day using reminders. Now to really get the most out of reminders isn't about just dumping tasks in here and there and then hoping somehow you're going to get them done. No, it doesn't really work that way. You actually need to spend a little time each day planning what you will do the next day. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the new reminders. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please click that like button down there. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to learn all about the best ways to become productive using Apple's productivity tools, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my Apple reminders now and I'll show you how I plan the day. Okay, so when you're planning your day, the first place to start is your inbox. That's because there could very well be a task in there that needs your attention tomorrow. So we need to start in the inbox. Now I've got one here that I've already added to my task list, but this actually came from my notes app. So if I click on that, you can see that this actually comes from one of my goals for 2022. This is something that I want to be doing next year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my reminder I don't need to do this until March 2022. So what I'm going to do is now I could ignore this, but I'm going to make this because I already know the date that I need to do this. So I'm just going to add a date and I'm going to go and put that for the 1st of March. And that's now done. It's got a date. Now, the only thing is, where do I put it? Well, I don't need to do anything about this for almost four months now. So this can be now put into my long term and on hold project. Even if I don't review, because I only review that project probably once every three months, I'm not going to miss it because I've added a date. It's going to come up. OK, once your inbox looks like this, clear, we go into the next one, which is scheduled. Now we're looking at the tasks that you must do tomorrow. Now I clean my office every Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday. I clean my office on a Saturday. Every day I have to do my admin, update the content calendar and clear my action this day folder, which is my email. Uh, I do a quick check of my car's windscreen washer fluid bottle because we are now in the winter and the worst thing you can have is a dirty windscreen when you're on the motorway or expressway. I must record next week's podcast. I should also contact Philip because we're moving house and we really will need to borrow his van next week. And I do need to make sure that all my new coaching clients all have been contacted and they all have appointments set up. So what I want to do now is I'm going to actually go into the three tasks that really must happen tomorrow. All the others, they're just routine or it's not that important. So I'm going to go into my record. This is a must do. We're going to click on the information right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a priority. Now, there's a reason for that, but I'm just going to add a priority. This is my high priority and I'm going to drop that in there. And you can flag this if you wish. And the easiest way to do it while, while I'm here, I can flag it from there. But there's another way of flagging these tasks. And I'll show you from here. When I click on Philip, I can add the flag there. But it's not going to do very much just flagging it. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a priority. So we're going to go into here again. This is a high priority and I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to go into this one, which is something I want to do in the afternoon. Again, I'm going to flag it because it's something I must do, but I'm going to do this in the afternoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a medium priority to that one. OK, and then click done. And there we go. We're now set for tomorrow. Now, let's just say that I know I'm driving a long distance on Wednesday, which I am. So really, I want to make sure that happens. So I'm going to add a priority to that one. I'm going to call that uh, low priority. Again, you'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. And uh, I'm going to click done. And uh, let's just say that the cleaning of the office really must be done because it's looking very dirty at the moment. So I'm going to make sure that gets done later in the day and that's done. So that's it. So 
all the others it's not a big deal if I don't do them now I'm not going to be able to show you this by from here because as you can see nothing has changed but what I'm going to do is let's go into my today view we're going to click on the three arrows the three buttons up at the top here I'm going to sort by priority I'm going to put highest first and lowest now if you look here you can't really sort by flag so you can do it manually which is one way of doing it but by doing this by adding the priority I can now automatically sort my reminders so the way to show you this is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna select my reminders so I'm gonna select these so one two three four five I'm gonna do this the hard way so I've selected the, the reminders I'm gonna change the date and I'm gonna put it for today so we're gonna add uh, today so there we go and apply and now we're going to go into my today list so as you can see what's happened is by using the priority I have my two must do tasks right here the high priorities and they are flagged which is fine I've also got my other one which is like okay let's say I'm going to do this in the morning and then I've got my cleaning office check the car and then the other things which I will do in the evening so it's organized everything for me now while I'm doing my work what I can do is I can go into my flagged here and I can see okay which are the ones that I'm doing today and you can actually create a a, a, a smart list for this so for example I can go add list I'm going to make a uh, today's focus and I'm going to go into here and we're going to go uh, date so uh, relative range so I'm going to go in the next hour in the next day and we're going to go oh, in the next day and so we go down and it must have a flag so it's flagged and let's say any priority and then we've got that so we're going to click done and I'm going to click done I'm going to drag this up to the top whoops I'm going to drag this up to the top there we go in a second oh we'll do it the easy way edit I'm going to drag this one up to the top here because I really well I've actually got one here already but you can see what I'm doing here and then what I'm going to do is click on that and that means that any task that's got a priority and is flagged will come up here and I can focus on that once that's done I can switch over to that and I can clean up my tasks so there you go that's how you plan out your day to make sure now in total that's probably even though I was explaining what I was doing as I was going through that took me probably less than 10 minutes and that's really what it's about it's just 10 minutes that's all you have to do okay well thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you for watching this video. Now, I'm very excited to tell you that the 2022 edition of my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course is now available. This year, we're utilizing the brand new features in Reminders and and notes. We're going to be looking at how you can use the tags to create an even better productivity system. We're also looking at how iCloud comes into the picture and your calendar. This is a complete productivity and time management setup that if you're in the Apple ecosystem I can guarantee is going to make your life so much easier. No more overwhelm, no more stress, no more forgetting events or tasks it's all going to be there in your own system that I show you how to build. It also includes the Time Sector System and my brand new Notes Organization System, Capra. Okay, I hope you get time to join this course. And don't forget, if you're already enrolled in this course, my promise to you is every year it's a free update. I hope you enjoy the course and it'd be lovely to see you in there.